Hello everyone, Vegaspic1965 and in this week's video we are going to be doing a tutorial on a one chunk bee nest. So I hope you enjoy what you see and without further ado, let's find out. Welcome back everyone, Vegas Pick 1965 and I can't help but admire how beautiful these little guys are. Now, the bees I have here have no AI, so they just sit there and flutter for me and that's how I got my background uh, pics that you'll see on the uh, thumbnail. And uh, that's, you can do that with any mob, a, a no AI is just a command. Of course, you have to do it in creative or be the owner of your server where you have access. Uh, to get that done but I just think they're so gorgeous I'm probably gonna end up uh, building a bee as well I know some folks on the adults play Minecraft server had asked me are there gonna be any bees that big and I thought hmm that'd be kind of strange I'm not sure if there's enough room for them so what I have in front of you is a one chunk bee nest and I've gone through and uh, actually spent a lot of time staring at this little guy right down here as well as one that is full of honey. Now this one that you get off of the uh, creative inventory does not have the, uh, the full honey uh, effect on it. However, I did find one that is close by just down over there and I went ahead and changed the front of this one that you're going to see in a moment, the build tutorial, uh, to a honey kind of look. Now some of the blocks uh, I spent a lot of time going through and changing and changing and I will show you the uh, the version on the adults play Minecraft server as well of course I think the tree and the leaves could probably use a little more attention but what I plan on doing instead of doing a, a block by block tutorial because it would take far too long is I am going to give you first a list of the materials that you're going to need to build this so I'll have that up on the screen please pause if you need to Now, the, uh, the build itself, I'm going to probably do this in, let's say, four, the upper and the lower section. So if you're looking at this, you can see the blocks that I have laid out. And of course, with your list, if you look at it, you should be able to tell that, of course, the brown is the, the bottom is the brown concrete. And you work your way up with some mushroom blocks, some gray terracotta, some white terracotta. You have yellow concrete, yellow terracotta. There's a whole list, and you saw that list I just posted up. But this is the first, the front section of the non-full honey block. I'll go over the full honey uh, changes that makes it look like it's full of honey uh, in just a moment. So we're looking at the first one, which gives you, uh, let's see, there's four blocks in between each tier. So you can see the bottom row is uh, the brown concrete and a mix of a couple of others. Go up three more blocks and then so you've got five total between or three between and then you got the second section which is also three blocks between the brown concrete and a couple other various ones now the upper section of this as you can see here pause your screen if you need but you can see all the blocks in their glory on how to build each and every one and you can count them off that's how I did it like I said this would be much faster than doing a block by block tutorial there is some mushroom, mushroom blocks in there, you can see those as well. And I'll get it a little closer in so you can see those. There we are, you can see that's mushroom block down in there. You've got some uh, stripped uh, jungle wood. There's the, um, the brown wool, more brown concrete, and this is brown terracotta. So let's go over to the left side of this build. Again, we'll take a look at the bottom section first. We'll come in here. I'll move my hand out of the way so you can see. Again, pause your video if you need to, uh, to get these blocks right. It is 16 by 16, that's one chunk. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, I, it's, for some reason it's 17 blocks high. I counted it off. I could be wrong. And again, that list that I gave you, uh, maybe plus or minus a block or two. I did go through and count each and individual block each and every individual block. All right, we'll look at the upper section of the left side. Again, three in between the brown terracotta blocks and the brown wool. Now we'll take a look at the back section, the bottom half first. 
again pause your pause the video if you need to get these correct in the right order now we'll look at the upper section should be relatively easy now we're looking on the right side of course there's the front we'll look on the right side of this and look at the bottom first Then we'll look at the top section. Again, pause your video if you need to. There's the yellow wool, yellow terracotta, yellow concrete. You can see that. And then we're going to take a look at the top section. Now this is looking at it from the front, the very front. Let me back up just a little bit so you can see everything. took me a little while to figure all the ins and outs, but from a distance this looks exactly like a, a bee nest in my opinion. And I've got a lot of decent, good compliments from the guys on a, a Adults Play Minecraft Java side. Thank you guys very much. If you watch this, you guys are awesome. You really are. The entire AP network is in, truly incredible. And uh, if you are 18 or older and you'd like to join us on Discord, by all means, go right ahead. We'll probably put the link in the description below for the Adults Play uh, Minecraft server so you can, or the website so you can actually see. Now what we're looking to look at is the changes that you can make to make this to a, a full honey uh, bee nest. Looking at it from a distance you can see, kind of gives you the, the shine. And the only blocks you're really going to be changing, I think, was 22 or 20. No, it's 24 blocks that you'll be changing. And you can see the kind of like the insert down there. I had to put the uh, mushroom block, just a block here on each side, because this block right here, you will see, is a uh, the concrete powder. It gives it kind of a glow look to it. But without that supporting block, it's just going to fall right to the ground, of course. And you can use uh, either a quartz or you can use a uh, snow block. I'm using a snow block here, and you're only using two of those. So those are the inserts that you put. I'll come over and you can get a better look at it right here. This is the upper section of a full honey uh, bee nest. And here's the bottom section. And yes, that's orange uh, concrete powder that I have in there. And like I said, we go back from a distance over here and you can see these. They look awfully, awfully close to a regular bee nest. And if you're looking at maybe changing some colors, you can always come down and get your own bee nest in the uh, creative inventory. And one thing I did consider doing was changing these top little sections right here to possibly plain terracotta but for some reason when I when I do put it in here you'll see that it looks a little a little off a little too too dark and uh, to me it seems like we don't actually get all the colors we'd like to get in our game compared to what we see the uh, the actual uh, entities made of see it looks kind of dark to me I kind of like the uh, stripped uh, jungle wood I think the stripped jungle wood looks a lot better in here And the uh, full honey uh, beehive version, you can see that. As a matter of fact, we'll come right down here. I'm pretty sure it was right down here. There it is. This one should still be dripping honey. There's the full honey look. In case you want to get a picture of that, perhaps you can change the colors, but you can see where I put the orange concrete powder in those spots and of course the, uh, the two spots that give it kind of like the little glow effect with the snow block or you can use like I said quartz. But anyway I'm going to show you what it looks like on the AP Java server so you can see uh, what was done actually in survival the exact same build like I said it took me quite a while so I shall be right back. Welcome back guys this is the uh, one we did on the AP uh, Java side the adults play Minecraft Java side and uh, this is the one I put in spawn where all the shops are. You may have seen this if you've watched any of the other videos. We'll come take a look at a, another view of this. 
can see here I have a launching pad on the top. The uh, the build itself, I've got, I actually have to make a change because I have it looking like it's fully loaded with honey, but the front does not. So I'm going to have to make some changes to that one there. I'll go up to the top up here. But for ideas as far as what to do with this build, as you can see, you can do a lot of things up in the inside. I didn't, it's it's hollowed out, so that's it's an awful lot of leaves if you were to actually do the whole thing uh, with, with leaves. So I, I kind of just did the outside to make the appearance on the outside look like a real tree. Now the tree eh, could probably be a little thicker, but uh, I think that'd be overkill. But to give you an idea what you could do with this bee nest, uh, I made it a shop, but you could also make it a home or a store. And as you can see, the upper half or the upper section, I have bees inside. And if you didn't know this, uh, currently I know that they, they, the 1.15.2, you can now uh, have a bee nest spawn uh, naturally, if you drop down a sapling with a flower next to it, there's a 5% chance that you'll get a bee's nest. However, there's still an issue with that I'm aware of. There's an issue with the bees actually wandering off and disappearing. So be careful if you're going to set yourself up with some, some friends like these bees. You want to make sure that they're in a large enclosed area or a small, whatever you want. I, I like mine in a larger area where they can still roam around, but you will not lose them. So we'll go down below and you'll see the shop that I had, but you, like I said, you can also build it as a home. There's a lot of ideas that you can use. And our AP guys uh, have done a few viewings of this and I've gotten a lot of great compliments. So down here you can see this is would be like the home area if you were building this as a home. Or just go right ahead and use it as a, a bee sanctuary if you wanted. There's lots of possibility, uh, possible uses that you can use for this. So going back out. I saw a skeleton down here too that might be after me. But that is the honeypot on the AP Java server. Hope you guys enjoyed this one chunk tutorial. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave those comments down below and I will get back to you. If you like the video, click the like button. If you would like to subscribe for future videos, I make movies or excuse me, videos every Wednesday. Uh, usually in the evening, uh, U.S. Pacific time, and I have them edited and out by early, early Thursday morning. Hope you enjoyed this view of a one chunk tutorial on a bee's nest and the uh, AP Java server. server. Thanks, guys, and I will see you on the next video, which next week we'll be back on uh, my um, the Beginner Survival Guide with my son Noah. And I think I've got scheduled up a stone uh, generator with uh, the Adstar guys on the following week. Uh, and that's going to be with uh, Icy Lake and Miggy Computer, I think. I think it was her name. She was the one that uh, actually fine-tuned it to be just a stone generator. And then after that, I believe the next week I'll be doing a video on a drown farm. So until the next video and next week, guys, I will see you then. Goodbye.